hello hello welcome to a new vlog so i woke up i showered took twinkie out got ready for the day and i totally forgot like how did i forget this i guess it's because i had to get a few of these cameos completed like someone requested a 24 hour one yesterday and i literally just saw it today i was like oh my god first of all thank you for requesting the 24 hour one like you're like an angel so sweet so like i wanted to get those done anyways in the midst of all that like i realized oh my god today's saturday so today is my second ozempic shot and also it is my official like how much weight did i lose the first week so i'm about to go get completely naked step on that damn scale and be so proud of myself and tell you guys a little bit about like how the week went so let's go do that and i'm realizing that these pillows i actually don't use these pillows right here they do not have pillowcases on them because i'm actually getting rid of these pillows but this is the end of my bed the part of the bed that i do not use anyways let's go weigh myself okay guys so i did weigh myself but first i want to put in my weigh-in from last week so i'm gonna put that here today is the day that i am going back on ozempic so it only makes sense that we get a weigh-in and we see my starting weight 500.4 pounds 500.4 okay so now let's put in the weigh-in from today all right you guys i'm so excited hello it's ready Okay, stepping on, moment of truth, fingers are crossed. 488.2 pounds. 488.2. All right, so I'm going to figure out how much I've lost in this week, and then I'll let you guys know. So in one week, I'm down over 12 pounds, and I am so freaking proud of that. So the first few days on the Ozempic shot, I felt extreme nausea when waking up, but then it would go away throughout the day. And those first couple of days, I also noticed that like every time I would eat, I would get just like the tiniest bit nauseous, like once I hit like the full mark. But days five, six, and seven, like I didn't get that at all. So it was a lot of like willpower had to be had, trust me, especially yesterday day seven i literally wanted to eat everything i wanted to literally eat everything i wanted to order all the takeout i wanted to snack away just you guys know like i just wanted to eat everything so i had to have tons of willpower and i think between the ozempic and then me stopping delta eight i think that it made me have a very successful week so i'm very proud of that on top of no longer vaping i'm also not really drinking like diet sodas anymore like i i definitely am making a lot of changes like i'm i have a lot of water going through me and it feels really good because for a minute there i wasn't drinking any water at all when it comes to what type of changes i'm making in my eating i definitely eat more at home i don't order takeout as much but i definitely still do overall i just eat a lot less i'm just feeling very positive and i'm very happy Oh my god, over 12 pounds. I know it's a lot of water weight. I know next week will not be like that, but it just feels really good and it's motivating and it makes me want to keep going. So yay. Okay, so I simply had an outfit change. It is still the same day and I will still be vlogging today. I just, I don't know, for continuity reasons, I feel like I have to tell you that. I'm feeling so sad. I cannot find my sunglasses anywhere. I'm like, where the hell did I put them? I feel naked without them. Oh my god. So I'm currently with my mom. <laughs> we are going to Panera Bread and I found my glasses, so we're good, but I'm not wearing them right now because the glare when I vlog is just like, what's the point? Yes, the bingo bag is back there. It stays back there 24 seven, <laughs> but I think we're going tonight anyways. So that's gonna be a fun moment. And I think, movie. yeah, we're going to the movies. There's this movie out called If with Brian Reynolds. If you guys know, Blake Lively is my um, wife, one of my wives, I have several. And that's her husband. But I just wanted something unserious. My mom's like, you wanna go to the movies? And I was like, oh my God, there's actually a movie out that I wanna see. And I was like, that's perfect. And my mom thinks it looks cutesy, like the concept of it. So yeah, yeah so we have a full uh, day of mother-daughter shenanigans. Right, mom? Yep, shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, and I did my injection. My mom helped me with that. She did yep. it for me. Yeah, piece of cake. Yeah, it's easy for her. I didn't. I don't feel it. It's so weird because like when I did it before and I used a pen, like I would feel it, but with this, it like feels like nothing. Like I don't get it. You're gonna tell them how much weight you've lost? Yeah, I told them already. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my mom's proud that I've lost over 12 pounds already. That's so exciting. I know. Did you tell them how much I lost? How? 19, right? 19. My mom's yep. down 19, and I have heard some people asking if she's also on Ozempic. No. No. She's doing it all on her Count own. Count calories. Yeah, she's <laughs> counting them cows. 
Um, she's the queen of moderation. She allows herself to eat whatever she, <laughs> whatever she wants, but she like fits it in her cows. So pretty much what I'm trying to do, but I'm not counting calories. Let's stay away from low sweets. Like I don't do sweets as calories or anything. Yeah. Like so she'll stay away from sweets, but which is my downfall. <laughs> I'm, same. I love me a sweet moment mm. type deal type of situation. Yeah. Anyways, but yeah. Uh, see you at Panera Bread. <laughs> Look at that. You could do that. Emma. You guys, are these are swimming shoes? <laughs> Wait, are these swimming shoes? I bought them in the swim section to get wet. Mom, if you bought them in the swim section, I think they're for swimming, right? They're the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. Like, 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 they weigh like nothing. They look comfy. You can't tell, but they're purple. On camera, they look gray. Yeah, they match your hair. I think those are swim shoes. <laughs> this is the movie we're gonna be watching. Yeah, it's gonna be cute. Oh my god. Wait, what do you do? Oh, you push a button. I've never done this before. Okay. And then she said, don't put too much butter because it'll. So is this the butter? Yeah. Ooh, girl. I don't know how fast it goes. We show them. I also got a icy. Icy. I got a diet coke. Any characters that I can relate to within the film? My mom had to take a quick bathroom break, but we finished the movie. I cried a couple times. It was honestly so adorable. I'm not gonna lie. But I did not finish my popcorn. This was a small. I think I'm gonna give this to my mom's boyfriend. And that small icy definitely hit the spot as well. But we're about to go to bingo and usually I drink like a big, large Diet Coke while I'm there. But instead we're gonna stop and get me some water first because I want to stick to no soda. Good luck, here's Jim Hunter for our set session. Okay, you guys, if I look tired, it's literally because I am. It's past my bedtime. I had an amazing day today, but it is time to do questions of the day. How do you live in a state known for having a lot of tornadoes, yet act surprised when you get tornadoes and tornado warnings? Your girl isn't surprised. Your girl's scared. If you're afraid of needles, why would you choose a medication that is a shot? So stupid. To save my life. Can you give us one fact about Valentine? Um, she's older than me. If you quit YouTube, how will you afford to buy your mommy's love? I actually, it's crazy because I've gotten this question a multitude of times in several different types of fashions and ways, just worded differently. I don't pay for my mom to do anything. She has her own job, her own money, her own everything. She doesn't need me, honey. How did you have CT scans then and you're smaller now, but you can't fit? Because every CT scan has a different weight limit. All right, last question. How do you stay so incredibly strong and positive while people are so cruel and insensitive? You're always so kind to everyone. Love you bunches. I really don't know. I think it just comes with time. I just feel like I've been doing this for so long that like I have built some some tough skin and I'm just very patient with all the negativity. Of course, I have my slip ups where I might seem a little insensitive. That's definitely not who I am as a person ever. I just get really overwhelmed and sometimes I'm kind of bad at managing my emotions. But I love you too and thank you for the comment. Anyways, I hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.